So what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and I got three letters for you. RKO. No, I'm just kidding. Not RKO. How about MVD? Yeah, as an MVD shop, I got an order from MVD shop. They had a super sale. I hadn't really talked about it much on this channel. I guess I, I failed you as far as reporting that. But let's talk about it. Let's get into this box, and I'll show you what I picked up. What are we waiting for? Let's go. So what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the JeffMan316 Pop Culture Reporter Channel. I'm your host, as always, JeffMan316. That's me on the sign there. Yeah, we watch movies on the weekends. Usually do watch alongs on Sunday night. We'll pick a random movie. We'll talk pop culture, wrestling, uh, bullshit about movies, anything else. Um, come over, join us. If you want to, don't want to do that, at least join me on social media, JeffMan316, where you can shoot me some DMs if you got any questions about the channel or anything that we talk about. I try to, while I'm a small channel, I try to answer everybody. Um, yeah, but I've got an order here uh, from MVD Shop, and I'll tell you a little bit about that. If you go back and watch from last year, I did some MVD Shop videos where they had a really good sale. They actually had a, a lot of dollar titles, and they only allow you to buy 15 titles in on an order. And I think it's because if you look, these boxes basically hold about 15 titles, and so they only, that way they want to ship one box. So... Uh, they also have some really good deals, so maybe they're trying to limit that. But last time I ordered like three boxes of movies. This time I didn't. They didn't have any dollar titles. Boo, yeah. Um, but they did have uh, some titles that I've been interested in. They were at least half price, I think. So some of the stuff was like four or five bucks. Um, I ended up getting two Blu-rays, and there's, there's some cheesy movies in here. So don't hold that against me. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and go through these. And you guys can put in the comments down below if you've seen any of these. Because other than one or two of these, I haven't seen any of these movies. So the first one is created and directed by a friend of the channel, Dustin Ferguson. He won my Jeffy Award for uh, my favorite independent film director. So Clowns of Halloween. And I have not seen this at all. So pick that up. thought that was kind of cool. I like the cover artwork. And we'll get anything related to clowns. So I got another one. House of Clowns. Check that out. They do have stickers on there, but they're obviously they're on the, the, the plastic. But look at that. That's pretty cool. The next one. Let me make sure Dustin didn't direct that one. Or Jeremy Lubash, whoever that is. I think there's at least one other one in here that Dustin might have directed. Uh, JT Chris did this one. Uh, Ghost of Amityville. It looked like it had a clown on it. I don't know much about that. There is nowhere to hide from the curse. Amityville movie trailer reel. Yeah, they got a ton of Amityville movies. Um, these are, I think a lot of these are the Wild Eye release, and you can't really see it on that. Um, I think almost every single one of these is Wild Eye releasing. I think that's, all, that's the ones that were on sale. They were doing another one, an Unearthed film one, Films one that wasn't as good of a deal. Um, this one is Dustin Ferguson written and directed. This is The, the Beast Beneath. So that's kind of cool. Um, I think Brink Stevens is in this. So yeah. It has awakened. Um, watch my video where I unbox Spider Baby, his latest written movie. Um, that I got the Blu-ray and the DVD of. Um, this is a movie, We Found Something. The thing about these you'll notice is the cover artwork is epic. And the movies, not so much. But as cheap as these things are, this actually had behind the scenes and bloopers and outtakes. I like watching those bloopers and outtakes. Um... Daniel Armstrong directed this. Being the Chosen One really sucks. Creature Cabin. One other one that I got just for the artwork. Look at how good that artwork looks. It wants your soul. 
will tear your soul apart. Uh, watch me die, unrated, wild eye, raw and extreme. Once again, look at that cover artwork with that shot of the reflection in her eye. Reminds me of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Lights, camera, kill. Now this one, I'm going to read you the description of this one. Because the description is what sold me on it. And remember, you can't think any less of me because I bought this. A nameless psychopath who videotapes the horrific murders of beautiful young women discovers he may actually be a character in someone else's snuff film. But that's not the part I read uh, that I read and made me buy it. An excuse for sleaze featuring a parade of young women stripping off for some POV sex scenes before they're uh, messily dispatched in some unpleasant death footage. One hell of a nasty and unforgiving flick, says Dread Central. That one is the one I'm most looking forward to watching. Would you like me to review that on the channel? Yeah. Uh, here's one. Death Rink. Heads are gonna roll. The cover artwork is cool. I love it. Uh, maybe we should do a double feature with that one. Watch Death Rink and Gutter Balls. Is that the other one? Pure throwbacks throwback slasher roller boogie meets friday the 13th holy shit talk about a combination there um i guess i can show this i mean i'm not looking at these make sure they don't have nudity on them hopefully they don't no titties i feel no titties i don't think they do gorgasm what the fuck look at that title i guess because it's a cartoon i can show that sorry Get ready for sloppy seconds. The brutal, unstoppable CFK killer is back for another knee-deep adventure in death, drugs, and perversion. It's got commentary, deleted scenes. So, is this a sequel? I don't know anything about this movie. It says the CFK killer is back. Anybody knows anything about MBD shops, this wild eye releasing of Gorgasm? Um, put, put in the comments down below. Now, the next three... Um, I got because uh, a friend of the channel, Toadie, Toadie, <laughs> he'll get, I'm not going to edit that out, Cody Tudor, it's easy for me to say. Um, he talked about these and he had bought them, I think, when they came out originally. I don't buy this type of stuff usually, but I did because um, they were so cheap. But Jurassic Shark Dinosaur from the Deep. These are, uh, this was written and directed by Brett Kelly. These are definitely some cheese um, shark movies. Jurassic Shard is 75. It sounded like I said Jurassic Shard. I got a little bit of a cold. I did say Jurassic Shark. It might be Jurassic Shard as well. Jurassic Shark is 75 minutes of bad filmmaking at its very best. And that was Popcorn Pictures. So you, you know what these movies are when you buy them. Jurassic Shark 2. Aquapocalypse. Holy shit. Uh, the second time's the chum. I'm tickling myself just reading these fucking things. I can go slow ahead. Come on down and chum some of this shit. You have nobody to blame but yourself for the brain cells you're about to lose. A ferocious prehistoric megalodon. The sequel you didn't even know you didn't care about. That was from somebody on Reddit. Let me read that to you again. Jurassic Shark 2 Aquapocalypse, the sequel you didn't even know you didn't care about. How about that? <laughs> and then, of course, you know it. Um, this, these are, the last two are Mark Polonia. Um, Jurassic Shark 3 Seavenge. Is this going to be as bad as Jaws the Revenge? It will never be safe to go back in the water. Look at that ripping off Jaws right there. You know this is going to be a bunch of CGI shit. Director's commentary. Oh my good. Has it got director's commentary on the other one? Nope. That should be a, a laugh riot. So the last two are Blu-rays. Now, I know this first one I'm getting ready to show you is Hot Dookie. That people have told me it's garbage. And that's why I got it, just to be funny. The Velocipaster, a man of the claw. Uh, evil is about to get Tyrannosaurus wrecked.
Look at that shit there. You'll believe a priest can turn into a dinosaur. So is this going to be like cocaine shark? Where it really wasn't a damn shark in it and somebody was turning into a shark? Oh my god. I'll save the best for last. This one actually doesn't look bad. Uh, Wicked Ones. I like the cover artwork there. It seems like it's a maybe like a play on the strangers. I had something in my tooth. If it's in the video, I'm not editing this out. The final confrontation with evil has begun. Special collector's edition Blu-ray includes slipcase, folded poster, and bonus features. That's kind of cool. It says, Wicked Ones is even more brutal than the first film. Now, I know that is the first film is the, the Wicked One. I've got a DVD of that. I don't think it's on Blu-ray. If you know about that, put it in the comments down below. But this is, uh, it says, Evil multiplies in this follow-up to the 2017 sleeper hit. The Wicked One set a decade after the events of the first film where the survivors and their kids show up. So to me, it says a, a fun mesh of Friday the 13th and The Strangers. That's what I was going to say. So, yeah, we got a good mix here. I mean, damn, I got all three Jurassic Shark movies. I got Velocipaster. So, yeah, we got a ton of damn B-movie cheese. Can you smell it? So, yeah, um, I'm going to put this maybe in the uh, thumbnail, but either way, let me know what you think. Have you seen any of them? Put comments down below. I don't want to know more about these before I dive into them. So, yeah, let me know about these, um, if you've seen them or not. And while you're down there, like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the normal YouTube stuff. Hit the smash, the like button, please. Get some activity on the video. Um, if you are a subscriber, do not forget to hit the notification bell because you'll know when I post new videos. So that was the MBD sale. They, like I said, it ended. I'm sorry I didn't mention it on the channel. Um, I wasn't as, you know, uh, uh, what do you want to call it, excited about this one as I was last year when they had the dollar title so my uh co my collection my order didn't add that many to the collection but i did get a good box so yeah like i said like the video if you uh and put some comments down below so i really appreciate you guys coming by for the unboxing i love you guys keep supporting me and i'll keep making great content and until next time boys and girls this has been jeff man 316 i'm your pop culture reporter and i'm signing out saying you guys be safe out there especially from the velocipaster <laughs>